Thank you for purchasing the Scale Blaster system. We will now show you how simple it is to install your unit. The SB125 unit should contain all the components listed below. Control unit, user's manual, warranty card, mounting brackets, mounting bracket screws, nylon zip ties, signal cable, tools and materials required, drill, screwdriver, wire stripper, drill bits, screws and anchors. Additional tools may be required for special installations that require electrical or plumbing changes. Site survey. One of the great features about Scale Blaster is that the installation is very simple and usually the homeowner can do it themselves. The installation involves a power box that is mounted on a wall near an electrical outlet and a signal cable that is wrapped around the incoming water supply to your home or building. Most houses or buildings built in the past 50 years or so have copper, plastic, or PVC pipe. Older houses most likely have galvanized pipe, while many of those homes may have had some copper or PVC replaced in some areas of where they used to be galvanized pipe. The SB125 model is designed for houses with copper, plastic, or PVC pipe. We are only concerned with where you wrap the signal cable. In other words, if the house has both copper and galvanized pipe, you should install the unit on the copper pipe as it enters the house. If the pipe is galvanized, you will need to replace a small section of the pipe with PVC or copper pipe. This is not difficult and is a simple job for a handyman or plumber. Locate a straight section of pipe at least 12 inches as the pipe enters the house and near an electrical source. Wrap the coil in the middle of this section and as far away from the galvanized pipe as possible. The most desirable place to wrap the signal coil is on the main water line that enters the home or building before it branches off to the distribution system. In other words, an area of pipe closest to where it enters the house. This location will assure that the scale blaster will serve 100% of your water. The power box is UL, CUL, and CE approved and may be installed outdoors if necessary. This pipe size cannot be larger than one and one half inches. Step two. The power unit should be mounted on a wall or solid surface within five and a half feet from an electrical outlet or power source and within 15 feet from the pipe in which the signal cable will be wrapped. If the power unit has to be more than 15 feet from where the signal coil will be wrapped, you may need to call your dealer or Clearwater Envirotech for technical assistance. Step 3. Once the main water inlet pipe is located, identify a section of pipe that is at least 10 inches of straight pipe and at least one foot away from any major electrical interference. You should also stay away from elbows, couplings, tees, and valves as much as possible. If you are unable to find 10 inches of straight pipe or pipe that is away from major electrical interference, contact your dealer or Clearwater Envirotech for assistance. The installation can be done on less straight pipe, but you will need at least five inches to wrap the coils properly. If tees or elbows are also nearby, and there are no other options, go ahead and install the unit and it should work fine. These are only guidelines for best results. Mounting the power unit. Mount each of the four mounting brackets to the back of the control box using the enclosed brackets and screws. Step two. Mount the power box to the wall after drilling four holes in the determined location. Use the appropriate screws and anchors, depending on the surface. This should be within five and a half feet of a power source and 15 feet of the location for the signal cable. The surface should be flat. The unit can be mounted in any direction and installed inside or outdoors. Installing the signal cable. Step one. Insert the pre-stripped end of the signal cable into one of the two signal terminals located on the bottom right side of the power box. The receptacle post can be unscrewed by turning it counterclockwise. This will expose a small hole in the post. Either terminal can be used. Tighten the receptacle post as much as possible with the signal cable completely threaded through the hole. Step two, route the signal cable from the power unit to the inlet pipe. Hold the cable parallel and next to the pipe and install one nylon cable tie. Make sure the cable tie is pulled tightly so that the cable is secured to the pipe. Remove the excess cable tie with a cutter. Step three, hold the signal cable and tie securely to the pipe by pinching them to the pipe with your fingers. Wrap the loose end of the signal cable securely around the pipe in any one direction 
50 times on all sizes of copper, PVC, or plastic pipe up to one and one half inch pipe. If you do not have enough straight pipe to do 50 wraps, the minimum required to properly install the scale blaster is 30 wraps. In other words, anywhere from 30 to 50 wraps is fine. The more the better. Step five, make sure the wraps are flush against one another and not overlapping. Once the wrapping is complete, secure the signal cable to the pipe using another nylon cable tie. Remove the excess cable tie. Route the loose end of the cable signal back to the power unit. Trim the cable to length. Carefully strip the outer plastic shield from the end of the signal cable, leaving about a quarter inch to three eight inch of bare cable. Twist the bare cable and insert the end into the unused receptacle post on the power unit. Tighten the receptacle post. Electrical hookup, activating the system. The unit you received is either 115 VAC or 230 VAC. Plug it into the appropriate electrical outlet. If the unit you received is a 240 VAC rated unit, there is no plug at the end of the power cord and you will need to add the proper plug. Once everything has been installed, a red indicator light, listed as power, should come on. This lets you know electrical power is going to the unit. A green indicator light, listed on the faceplate as descaling, should also come on if the signal cable was hooked up to the two terminal posts. Descaling will only take place if both lights are on. The best feature of Scale Blaster is that there is no maintenance required, no heavy bags of salt to haul around, and no batteries to replace or moving parts to repair. Allow at least 90 days to realize the full effects. The older your house, the longer it may take to fully descale the pipes. After a period of time, scale around sinks, taps, and shower heads will soften. These deposits may collect inside the faucet and head screens, leading to temporary blockage. It is best to periodically clean these screens as needed during the period of scale softening. This means the system is working. We also strongly recommend that you drain your water heater after 90 days of installing the scale blaster. You will be surprised at what has accumulated over the years. This will make your water heater more efficient. Please note that the scale blaster is not a water softener, but a water conditioner. After this break-in phase, all we ask you to do is check and make sure the two indicator lights are on. The unit should stay on 24 hours a day. It only uses a few dollars a year in electricity. The unit comes with a full 10-year warranty and is designed to have a lifespan much longer than that.